I am one with my glorious I am presence. And Holy Christ Self. Personalities. Body Elemental. And New Spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. I pull in my aura so that I am fully contained within Metatron's cosmic egg. And I am now ready for today's message. Greetings, beloveds. It is a glorious day on your planet. As is each day, when you see the world through the eyes of your Ascended Master Self, many of you are aligning more frequently with the higher dimensional aspects of yourself. These higher dimensional asset aspects are, in a sense, already ascended, for they have never been lowered into the frequencies that exist in the lower realms of this planet. Here I am speaking of all of the realms and dimensions in which negativity can exist. There are dimensions and realms in which negativity cannot exist. And there are aspects or parts of your being that dwell permanently in these higher frequency realms and that are never touched by any kind of negativity whatsoever. So part of your job as you are learning to ascend is to reconnect with these aspects of your very own self which permanently dwell in a state of perfection. This is what your I Am Presence is, beloveds. Your I Am Presence cannot ever be touched by any negativity whatsoever. It remains in a state of permanent purity and perfection. Therefore, your job is to consciously connect with your I Am Presence so that you can begin to receive its energy and its influence in your being and in all of the dimensions and realms in which you exist. This is, in fact, how you will transform your physical body and all of the aspects of your physical existence. This is also how your emotional and mental bodies will be purified and perfected. This is a process that occurs from the inside out. Your physical body, emotional body, and mental body are the outer expressions of your inner self. And so, as you connect with your Divine Presence, its energies will flow into your being and those different aspects that I just named. All it takes, beloveds, is for you to direct your attention to your I Am Presence 
and your I Am Presence knows exactly what to do and how to do it. You need not ask for anything specific unless, of course, there is something that you wish to work on. Otherwise, simply by directing to your I Am Presence your full attention and awareness, your I Am Presence will bring forth in the moment what you most require at that time which may very well be quite different from what you think you need. That is why I prefer to direct you to allow the I Am Presence free reign in doing whatever it knows needs to be done, rather than by limiting your I Am Presence by asking for specific healing or specific energies of any kind whatsoever. Your I Am Presence, as a part of God, has all of the qualities of the Godhead, including the most important ones, which are omniscience, omnipotence, and omnipresence. Therefore, it always knows what is best for you. But unless you direct your attention towards your I Am Presence, it remains in the background, as it were, gently and quietly whispering its suggestions to you. But when your attention is so focused on the outer world and on your ego mind, it is very hard to hear that voice. It doesn't mean it is not there. It simply means you are not paying attention to it. So, beloveds, in addition to the time that I have asked you to spend every day simply breathing in the light. Please begin to set aside some time to consciously connect to your I Am Presence. 10 or 15 minutes a day will be good for a start. And during that time, put the full focus of your awareness on your I Am Presence. If you cannot visualize it or feel it and you don't really know what it is, that is okay. Just focus on whatever you believe your I Am Presence to be and it will take over from there. And little by little, you will begin to see, to hear, and to feel the energy of your I Am Presence within you. And that will make it easier to continue the focus on the I Am Presence. Once you begin to see and feel or perceive in any way the presence of the I Am within you so that you are sure that you are feeling it. Then you may begin to ask for specific advice. Ask specific questions of what you wish to know. And your very own I Am Presence will provide the answers. Although there are many light beings who are available to answer any of your questions, they will always answer those questions from their own perspective. That is why you can ask the same question 
to three different masters or light beings or angels and you will get three different answers because it will come from three different perspectives and life stories. However, when you ask your own I am presence, you will be getting by far the most perfect answer that you can receive at this time. So why not go to the highest and best once you are able to hear that voice? Until you can hear that voice, continue to ask whatever beings you have already established a relationship with that you are able to hear and perceive at this time. Your frequencies have been attuned so that you can have that type of communication. So work at establishing that type of communication with your I am presence and then you can always go to it for any answers that you wish to have. You may also continue to ask me any questions that you want and to receive any energy that you desire and be assured that I am instantly there to answer you and to give you the energy, the light and the love that you need. You see, beloveds, the universe is richly populated with many beings on many levels that are here to assist you at this time but they need to receive your call and your request in order to bring you that which you desire. Take advantage of this, beloveds. Spend every free moment that you possibly can in communication with light beings, with myself, and with your own I Am Presence. The more time you spend in communication with the higher realms, the more energy you are receiving directly from them, and the less time you are spending in the ego mind. And so it will be losing its energy and its powers little by little as you switch the focus of your attention to the higher dimensions. This is a wonderful gift to give yourselves, beloveds. Share this love and light with your own being and fill yourselves up as much as you possibly can. For it is only in this way that can, you can truly be a light in the world and a force of love to all of your loved ones who need your love and your light at this time now more than ever. But if you are lacking this love and light yourself, you can only give human energy, human thoughts, and human love. And there is more than enough of that to go around. But there is not enough of the divine, pure light and energy to fill all the beings that require, at, require it at this time. So please, beloveds, fill yourselves to the maximum with divine love and light. Be a beautiful, radiant light in the world. Be pure, divine love in the world. And send forth your blessings to all. Even as I send forth my blessings to you. I love you. I bless you. I am Metatron.